things turn out like you expected last night? Uh, I was actually a little surprised that Alabama went down. You know, Nick Saban had won six straight semifinal games. He'd lost that opener in, to Ohio State back in 2014, complained that a bunch of his guys were worried about uh, their NFL draft stock, were getting, you know, all that uh, with their paperwork, I guess it was called back then, with the uh, NFL people giving them information as to whether or not they should declare for the NFL draft. And he said it was a distraction. And since that time, they've won and won handily in many of these games in those semifinals. So to have very one explosive pass play yesterday was testament to Michigan's defense. Yeah, I thought Michigan did a really good job. Alabama had some adjustments there. And I mean, I thought both of those games could have gone either way. I mean, absolutely, absolutely. Which was what made this field so intriguing is that you could really say any one of them could, you know, hoist the trophy. All right. Who do you like now? I'm going to go with Washington it, 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 at my own peril because I still think they're the most explosive team. And I think it takes some explosivity to win these games. But Michigan just basically took, you know, Alabama out to the woodshed in terms of explosiveness. So there'll be none. There'll be none in 2024. And, and uh, but I, I just think Michael Penix and this rainmaking ability that he has with that left arm is, uh, going to be tough to handle. Well, you played the position. What do you see with Michael Penix next year? I think Michael Penix is going to be a great pro. You know, he's not as pretty a left-handed passer as Penny Stabler or Steve Young, you know, that that just looks like it's like all of us who are right-handed see Phil Mickelson's golf swing and we we want it, right? We we because he can do these things, but when you look at Penix, it doesn't look as smooth. But the ball just absolutely comes out of the sky just so beautifully. And that triumphant of receivers is just spectacular. A dunze. I mean, yeah. when the moon hits your eye <laughs> like a big pizza pie, that's a dunze. You you're know, it just, you're it, short on sleep, aren't you? I'm short on sleep. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> 